Okay, so these are all the parts that you'll need. We've drawn a square on the circle so that we know where the center is to attach our pole. And then we'll be done with these parts and screws here. All the tools that you're going to need. Of course, if you don't have one of the right angle, what are these tools called? Square. Just a square. Then you can just go ahead and measure out to find the center of your circle. But it definitely will speed up the process. Racing all the lines to help us find our center. We are going to paint it, but this way we don't have to worry about lines showing through. base. Very simple. So we're going to take these holes and go ahead and just screw it in. The last one we made was how long? How many feet tall pole? It's a 48 inch, so this is two 24s with a coupler. That way I'm going to be able to break it down even smaller for travel. I have traveled with the other one and it works great too. But this is going to allow me to have half the storage length for that pole. So it's really simple from here. It's just screwing all the little parts together. This is all out of half inch. So that... The tails tend to be very narrow at the ankle.
right. So there it is. Okay, so we will go ahead and paint her and seal it so that it doesn't rust while wet. There it is, a very simple, sturdy tail stand for your silicone mermaid tails. Thank you! <laughs> okay, so... I went ahead and put my silicone Mertailer tail on the first stand so that you can see it holding it. Of course, it does have to lean against something because that particular fin is so heavy. Um, and that one is just a one piece pipe in the middle, whereas this one is split here. the fantasy fin on the other so you can see that too so there they are we will of course paint the other stand but I just wanted to show you how it works